hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you my nightly skincare routine that i do once a month if you're new here i've been struggling with hormonal acne for so many years now and i've only gotten it under control this past year and a half or so so i'm just sharing what works for me and what has helped me it's gonna be a quick one so without further ado let's get into the video First, I'm showing you what my skin currently looks like. Your girl still picks at her lips, but we're working on it. As usual, there is no beauty filter on this video. I'm showing you my skin for what it is, and this is its current state. We're gonna do a little at-home derma planning, and we're gonna work on getting the skin hydrated. I'm starting off my routine by brushing my teeth. I usually brush my teeth before I wash my face, and now I'm using these whitening strips from Crest. They usually come in this pack, and I only have to use these whitening strips every Every year and a half or so they last for a very long time and they really work I leave them in for about 30 minutes and I carry on with the rest of my routine I start off by washing my hands and I'm using YTP superfood cleanser this face wash is such a tongue twister <laughs> and I'm usually cleansing my face for two minutes before drying it off with the paper towel Now I did mention that we're gonna do some at-home derma planning and this is something that I do once a month, not every single night. You can also do this dry, but I usually use this aloe gel that I got from a Korean skincare store. It just really helps with calming my skin after shaving those little hairs off. I know there's a lot of concern when it comes to doing this yourself at home, but I've been doing this for the past four to five years and the hair does not grow back thicker. It's just if it's something that you're used to doing and you don't do it for one month the hairs that you usually shave off you're going to see i'm using this razor from verse but i usually get my razors from amazon i buy a pack of 12 for about 13 dollars, and it lasts me the whole year i start off by tugging at my skin and i work in a downward motion as you can see here it was very hard to do on camera so i was trying my best i did some off camera and some on camera but i'm basically just shaving those little hairs off my face i didn't do too much around my forehead because i am getting Getting my eyebrows done i just wanted a clean job when i get it waxed but this is basically the whole process and i usually wipe off the excess gel that's on the razor onto a napkin and all the little hairs that stays on my face i also wipe that off with a napkin i do this once a month because it's been one thing that really helped me with my acne it helps my skin absorb products better instead of having the product feel like it's just sitting on my face and it also improves with that bumpy texture leaving it nice and smooth this has honestly been a game changer now we're going to double cleanse using my favorite face wash by peach and lily their power calm hydrating gel cleanser i only use a pea size amount and i'm also cleansing for another two minutes this usually doesn't burn as these products are really good for sensitive skin and i'm also going to dry my face with a paper towel Now I'm using Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Hydrating Gel Mask. These sheet masks are more on the pricier side, but I promise it gets the job done. I was recommended to use this mask after my chemical peel because my skin was just so dry and my skin also tends to be dry at night, but this puts all of the hydration back into the skin somehow, some way. It's just such an amazing mask. I 100% recommend it to anyone that's struggling with dry skin. I'm just putting this on my face and leaving it for about 15 minutes before taking it off. And you're going to see how juicy my skin looks and how hydrated my skin is. It's amazing, like I really love this mask. Yeah. 
to lock in that moisture, I like to switch between these two products. One being a mask from Youth to the People, but we're using this cream from Peach and Lily. It feels like clay, it's very thick, but when I wake up, it honestly feels like an esthetician was on my face while I was sleeping. It looks like you're washing your face all over again, but I promise it dries clear after a while. But this is one of my favorite products that you can leave on overnight, other than that mask that I showed. And then I'm just taking off these whitening strips and putting in my retainers. I usually do a lip scrub if I need to, but I prefer to do it in the morning. So I'm just using this lip mask from Diana's Goat Milk Skincare. It does a good job with restoring my lips overnight after a full day of picking at them, which I need to stop doing. And that is the full monthly, nightly skincare routine. This is what my skin is looking like after the overnight cream has died down a little bit. And we are finished. So that was the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I do all things natural hair, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, all of the good stuff. <laughs> also, at the time that I'm filming this video, we are so close to hitting 50,000 subscribers, which is so crazy to me. I'm just so thankful, so grateful for each and every single one of you who continues to watch my videos, support my content, and I am doing a giveaway in my next video, which I'm very excited to announce and for you to enter because the prizes are really good and I said prizes because there's going to be more than one winner Ooh. thank you for watching and I will definitely catch you in my next video bye